uh, they're fairly straightforward from an experienced model builder, but um, the holes in the acrylic side frame are very accurately formed. Uh, that hole there you can see isn't so well formed. Easy enough to open out either with a drill or with the end of a needle file, just using it, I won't say like a brooch, um, but I had to just fiddle a bit to get the screws to go through there. But you know, it's not a big issue. It's just something when you're marrying a precision laser cut part to 3D printed part, which might have some minor dimensional inaccuracy. Strangely, it would appear that there is something metallic down that hole. Can't imagine how that could be. I've checked that I've not broken off the end of my drill or even the tip of my uh, needle file down the hole. So I don't know how that's arisen. Anyway, uh, there are still two screws if uh, that one isn't attached and it's just the space in the side frames and the side frames will be um you know held together with uh, plenty of other things so it's not something i'm going to worry about the great thing with translucent materials is you can see how the mech glue flows into the joint so i'll try and hold the camera as i touch this down Now the brass wheel bearings are the larger internal diameter top hat things. And what I've just found is that if you put it onto the axle of the wheel first to align it up with the hole and push it in that way, uh, it's easier to get it in. You can then just press it in by pressing down on a flat surface like that to make sure it's fully home. Uh, because as you know, with super glue, it tends to go off very quickly while you're still in the process of inserting the bearing. Um, there we go. Uh, but inserted from the outside of the frames, as far as I can tell from the pictures. Um, couldn't work out whether it was inserted from the inside or the outside with top hat bearings like that. It varies from manufacturer to manufacturer. I'm not sure it would make a lot of difference if you put them in from the inside. Um, but we'll see.